Let's graph the linear equation y equals 3x minus 4. And we're going to do this two ways. First, we'll use a table of values to find the graph for y equals 3x minus 4. Then we use slope-intercept formula to check our work. So we can start out by putting values in for x. It's always good to start out with 0. So if we had a 0, 3 times 0, that's 0. 0 minus 4, that's minus 4. How about 1? We could really put any values in for x, and that would give us a value for y, and that'd be on our line for y equals 3x minus 4. But you want it to fit on your graph, so lower numbers are usually better. If we put a 1 in for x, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 minus 4, that's minus 1. And how about negative 1? 3 times a negative 1, that's negative 3, plus negative 4, that's negative 7. So these are the points that we'll graph for the line y equals 3x minus 4. So we have x is 0 right here, and y is a negative 4. That's our first point. We have x is 1, y is negative 1. So we go 1, negative 1, and we could stop with two points and draw our line, but it's better to have 3 in case you made a mistake. So we have negative 1 for x, negative 7 for y. Negative 1, and we go down to negative 7. And you can see these all line up here in our graph paper. So let's put a line through that. Then we can put arrows here to show that it goes to infinity. So this is the graph for y equals 3x minus 4. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept. That's negative 4. That's where our graph should cross the y-axis. So if we go to negative 4 right there, that's where our graph is crossing the y-axis. m, that's the slope. So we have 3 for m. We could think about it as 3 over 1. We'll just call this rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept. We're going to rise 1, 2, 3, go over 1. From there, we could rise 1, 2, 3, and go over 1. And all these points, there on the line. Likewise, we could go in the opposite direction, down 3, 1, 2, 3, and then over 1 in the opposite direction there. That's also on our line. So this is the correct graph for y equals 3x minus 4. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.